So Nate, let me ask you this. Uh, once you made it back to Lewisburg, what was your mindset like and other men that was there based on transitioning from a control unit um, situation to a less restrictive? No. Uh, you know, uh, they have uh, the BOP at that particular time, the, the, the guys that's coming from, you know, the control unit program. <clears throat> that's a program. We, we always got to keep in mind that's a program. Is a is a indoctrination program for uh, behavior in men that they deem to be, you know, uncontrollable. Um, with that said, uh, that program uh, uh, indoctrinates you to uh, a mindset. And, you know, that mindset uh, a man have to adjust, you know, psychologically in order to survive. You you know, we got to keep that in mind too. Now, once we I was released from the control unit to, to open population in, in a normal institution setting, which was the uh, uh, United States Penitentiary at Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's two, two different mindsets. Uh, and once a person is released to the general population, you know, it's, it's less restrictive. And, and, and that and you have to adjust again in order to in order to uh, you know to function at a, at a less restrictive uh, uh, not only just institution setting but uh, uh, what you call a controlled mindset. So once I was released from Lewisburg uh, <clears throat> and it is all it is it had already got out that you know Smithfield. Uh, was was assassinated because that's what he was. It was assassination, mm -hmm. and 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 the whole system blew up. You know, they're not just uh, not just Lewisburg, but uh, you know Leavenworth, Atlanta, Long Park. Uh, you know, then you had the lesser 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 restrictive uh, USPs, uh, Terry Hutt. You know, at that at the, the BOP had at, at that particular time, uh, you know, they blew up, you know. Uh, so, you know, but, the, you know, just to get there, you know, the warden, the warden, uh, they had a, uh, BOP had a program that, you know, once a guy come out of the control, uh, you know, they, they'll contact one of our homies, you know, that's from the district, you know, they say, man, uh, Mr. Bailey coming there, man, and you know uh, what we would like you for you to do is, a, is the you know, uh, you know to take care, of, take care, of, man, you know, so you can aid him in making his adjustment in the open population. Now, to me, that adjustment was so strenuous because, you know, uh, here it is. I'm developing. I have developed a mindset of paranoia. Uh, hidden enemies, uh, you don't know where it's coming from, in 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 a, in a open uh, a setting, you know, without the four walls. But you got the four walls, but it's in, it, you got more, you got more space, more people in the space, and that adjustment is 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 kind of it's kind of hard unless you you reassured and reassured by. You know, people that's close to you. You know, then the only people that actually can be assured that man, everything is all right. Um, you know, so they gave me about thirty days to adjust. You know, in that in in, in Lewisburg. You know, you know, so uh, you know my my monitor, which is my homie. You know, he, he you know he slept with me. You know, he took me out to eat. You know. Took me out in the yard, uh, that type of thing, you know, so I can make my adjustments. And and and, but the point is, the matter of what I found out, that's when my consciousness started kicking in and my awareness started kicking in. Something was wrong, you know, through you know through, through those conditioning and those uh, indoctrinations, you know, of those environmental uh, programs. You know that what what those programs was causing to my psyche, to my psyche, 
and 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 and, and uh, uh, you know, if that that indoctrination, man, it it, it it almost it almost got me. It almost destroyed me to a to a to a degree that uh, you know I was on the verge of being uh, psychologically deranged. You know, in, in other words, man, a person come within three feet of me. Now you got many men on a movement. You got a ten minute movement to get anywhere in that institution. You know, when movement is on. They have a movement, you got 10 minutes to get there. And that one hallway, if you have 1,500 uh, 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 people, men, and that, you know, all the blocks is connected to one hallway, you know. So here it is, they call a movement to the yard or to the wherever, whatever movement, uh, you know, they call, mm -hmm. you know, you got, Close to 1,800 men at one time moving in that one hallway. You got a lot of people moving, you know. So here the person coming out of box for years, you know, in that hallway, get in that hallway, and 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 you got people coming back and forth like that. The most I could do at that time, it, what, what I experienced, the most I can do is to get up against the wall and just just watch the movement like that. You you, you feel, feel me? That's a that's 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 a psychological effect that those conditions had on me. So I, I didn't I didn't I didn't couldn't I couldn't function. So I was conditioned not to function in an open population inside inside a prison. Something wrong with that picture. So with that said, that's when I caught it. That's when my education kicked in. Say, nah, nah, something's wrong, you know. But a lot of men, but a lot of men can't catch it. They can't catch it, and that's where the education come in. There, you know, it, it respect the way you at, you know. If you let the conditions get to you, it's not feasible and it's not to your benefit. That's what I found out about control unit avert re, uh, at, 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 in verse. At first, uh, at, uh, you know, uh, uh, the control unit as, 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 as opposed to an open population, you know. Uh, now, bear in mind, all this, uh, the whole, the whole uh, institution was blown up from, uh, you know, uh, Smithfield's uh, killing in control. Now, D.C. is at war. They're at war with the urn boys, you know. Now, people is get is people is dying, man. People is dying. So here it is. You coming out of? I'm coming out of control. I don't know where it's coming from. Now that's a, another psychological extreme condition and effect that was caused, you know. So not by my chosen. But by my information, uh, according to what I have to do, or what I have to, you know, what I have to actually consider, you know, but my way of being, you know. So here it is, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not well, so to speak. I'm not well, you know. So I'm still living on the verge, you know. But luckily, luckily, through my education factor, faculties, I was able to know the difference, you know? Let me ask you this. How many people that prior to control unit into after they was diagnosed with some uh, psychological issue once leaving control unit? You, you know, um, back then, back then, and, and even now, the men is in doing it in ADX, they got ADX now, right? Yeah. So even now, you know, they don't even, uh, they don't even diagnose you. Mm -hmm. you, you. You see the difference? Yeah. In other words, here it is, they set the conditions for a person to go, to, to, to actually go in psychologically insane. Yeah. They set the conditions. Matter of fact, that's, the pro that's what the program is all about. They call they they call that the control unit program. So they setting the conditions for you to even go out like that, 
either go deranged, either go insane, or, or, or either, you, you see what I'm saying, get very aggressive. I, don't, I can't tell which one is the which. It's the same, it's the same to me. You see what I'm saying? You psychologically deranged. You, you, you know, if you go to the extreme, you still messed up. Yeah. If you succumb, you still messed up. You know what I mean? So it's a psychological effect that that program was created. It was created for that, for that purpose, you know. So, but after a man go through the program itself, they never psychologically diagnose you. They don't, psych they don't psychologically diagnose you when you go in, and they don't psychologically diagnose you when you come out. That's why I know the program was intent, intentionally, intentionally to cause those type of effects. So they making uh, uh, what you call killers, so to speak. Inside a prison, they are actually creating these type of people. You know. So, um, you, you know, but a, a, a strong man, a strong man that actually uh, know, know how to process his information, you know, and his development, because, like, I went in when I was young, mm -hmm. you know. So here it is, I got, here it is, we got, we have a, 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 a young mind developing to these extreme conditions, you know, under these uh, tenets of the program that they, they put in faith, place because of my behavior, so to speak. Um, you know, so that, that development will, you know, that, you know, will, uh, that young mind in that development will, will actually latch on to those concepts, you know, for his survival, like like my like in my like in my uh, situation, uh, you know, I was young mm -hmm. and I was full of it, you know, full of it. To be honest, in, in retrospect, I didn't care. You know, my whole thing was surviving, man. You know, so I'm in my in my um, small mind. I, I thought I was doing everything right. You know, the way I was thinking, the way I was supposed to think and everything. I mean, I'm telling myself that, mm -hmm. you know, but through my process, one thing I did do and one thing that the BOP did provide and one thing that I did take advantage of, you know, and while you're in control and you have correspondence courses that's coming out of the University of uh, Southern Illinois, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Free of charge under the pail. While you're in control, you stay in control 10 years. You can take those courses, you know, whatever subject you want, want. it's self-study, you know, time consuming. And that was the way that I used my time. I took those courses, I took small business management, I took man advertisement, you know, I mean, modern marketing, I took all that, you know what I mean? You know, and I used my time wisely. So that was good information that I was receiving. So through my self-studies, now out of, uh, uh, took black history too. Um, through my studies, you know, in, while I was in control unit, you, you know, in, in, in my correspondence with, with uh, that uh, Southern Illinois University uh, curriculum, you know, that they had in contract with the, with the BOP, you know, that, was, that information kept me balanced. That information kept, not only kept me balanced, it, it kept me, you know, uh, uh, with the knowledge and knowing the difference too. Even though, even though that I was deemed uh, psychologically deranged by their program, uh, it kept me, it kept, it, it kept me consciously, you know, balanced, you know, to know the difference. And I, and I, and I was being, I was able to see, I was able to see exactly what was going on, you, you know, right in front of me. I was uh, 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 be able to see exactly what what uh, the, the behavior they was creating, you know, promoting, and everything else through that program, man. Right? You know, uh, and uh, you know, but who gonna get it? That person gonna get it because that person responsible for that for the behavior that that person is was putting out there. 
But I'm one of the fortunate ones to, well, to be able to distinguish, you know, the difference for my benefit, you know. But a lot of men didn't see it. They didn't see it because they didn't have the information to process for themselves to know the difference. That's what my change came about. When I seen it, and I seen what time it was, and I seen what the system was creating, I seen, you know, what they was promoting, you know, hey man, that's when I say, okay, I see it. And that's why I will be able to navigate, navigate my way through, you know. But a lot of us couldn't because they didn't see it. You know, they didn't see the process. They didn't see the development, you know, because actually they didn't use the information that was available for them. Uh, Did you think it was due to the fact that a lot of the guys had life sentences and the whole aspect of it of secluding uh, your mind to more positive things than survival would have been like, for what? Do you think in that case? They had, they, had, they had a lot of guys gave up hope, yeah. They, they, you had a lot of those, but but even then, you, you, you know, um, it, it, it was just like, man, a, a, a soldier man in, in the field, man. Mm -hmm. You know, a soldier, they go on a mission, man. A lot of, you know, I mean, a lot of times, man, you already, you already know, man, it's a good part, it, but chance of you coming back, is, is you know your chance of coming back is is like 90 90 percent of you not coming back to opposed to that 10 percent that you might come back you know mm -hmm. like that it was like that but it wasn't no excuse that's why i said mm -hmm. that you know because back then hey your life sentence wasn't number 10 years yeah you go for parole in 10 years true you know a man killed a man you know you get seven years you kill it, yeah, seven years. You go for parole in, 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 in what, three, three and a half years? You know, so it, it, it's, it's not now you giving up hope for the time you're doing. Yeah. It was just that a lot of men gave up the hope that, man, because of the, of the program that was laid down by the BOP, you know, that they wasn't gonna come back. Oh, I see. You, you see what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know, like that. They, it, it, that that's a form of giving up hope. Yeah. So that's that's a form of giving up hope, of living in general. Yeah. But that was the program that, that, that they laid down. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, this program did not encourage psychological good care. Mm -hmm. You see, because a lot, a lot of guys, including myself, you know, I was psychologically impaired, man, in, in order to survive it. Yeah. You, you, you see yeah. what I'm saying? It did the exact opposite of what it was designed to do. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, and um, the crazy part, or the sad part to this whole story is how many people was affected and still affected to this day. To this day. To this yeah. day. You know, and, they don't, and, and that program actually created the psychological, the psychological uh, defects. Yeah. And that uh, stayed with a lot of men. Yeah, and, and you, you know. think about it, they actually passed laws of uh, the measures of BOP, the cruel and unusual punishment. That's it. That they can implement now based on the harsh conditions years ago. That's it, that's well, what it. What about the that's guys it. from there? That's it. Sort of like now with the arm, mm -hmm. they see the effects that it has on the mind, and they change things in the protocol now. Mm -hmm. But what about the guys that still living from that's army vets. That's it. That's it. And they just start recognizing that. Yeah, exactly. You know, so to answer your question, mm -hmm. a lot of men, I mean, like, like in my answer, my answer, mm -hmm. um, don't you know, after all that, you know, I couldn't move. I couldn't move because, hey, man, you know, I picked up all maybe. Went went on outside about three different times. I love you fact that I really came in. I did that three times over. You, you, you know because of the time that I picked up going on the outside. Yeah. Okay, uh, then they made me do all that. They never give me parole, none of that. So when it was time for me to go home, you know I couldn't move because they had all my good time. You know, 
So when I, but when I did was eligible to move on my good time, uh, you know, when it was time for me to go home, they sent me to Leavenworth to go home. From Murray to step down 30 days. From Murray, sent me to Leavenworth straight to the street. Man, <laughs> come on, man. No psychological, no psychological uh, 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 services, none. So, but I didn't catch it. I didn't catch. I didn't catch it. What was the year then? I was eighty-five. So eighty-five. Did they even were they even big on mental health then? No. And um, if you if you think about it, around that same time, DC had a spike in. Homicide. That's right. And drugs and everything. That's right. That's and that's right. you without you going through all that, going through control unit, uh, everything you went through. Control unit, different maximum prison supermax, as well as the psychological effects of being inside the box. And now you re enter the society without any services or help. Straight out there. Yeah. Straight out there. It was just like, it was just like literally, mm -hmm. literally. Literally, man, he'd take the stipend, you know, and a boot up the butt, get out of here. Yeah. Just like that. In other, in, other word, in, other word, in other words, brother, I had to fiend for myself. Yeah. You, you see? You know, but if I had, a, I had a sense of knowing the difference, mm -hmm. if I didn't myself try to, which I didn't, which I didn't, you know, try to get some help. You know, it wasn't there for me. You know, it was why I say it wasn't there for me because if I didn't come in, say, man, I I, I need some help, man. You know what I mean? They may have helped me, but I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that, man. You know, even even my family said, man, something wrong with him. Friends, people I grew up, man, something wrong with him. Mm -hmm. I wasn't talking right. I wasn't acting right. You, you, you know what I mean? But I didn't see it. I didn't see it, you know. Now that's a development from with me coming in as a kid, coming out still as a kid. I was still young, but I was in my 30s then, you know. Still young, you know, but I was in my 30s, you know. But late, 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 late teens and all my 20s was there mm -hmm. from developing you know, educating myself in there, you know, and developing, uh, you know, uh, what you call concepts, you know, based on the program that they gave me in order for me to survive, man, you know, mm -hmm. and it wasn't educational, you know, as they promotes it. It's sort of like they, uh, instead of a lot of guys up failure, because that, around that same time, they changed laws. Um, to mass incarcerate mm -hmm. guys mm -hmm. and um, pretty much that set the tone because a lot of guys were shuffled in and out of prison mm -hmm. and deal with those harsh extremes and they couldn't function within society. Right. And um, I'm not sure the, the uh, stats back then about how many minorities was in prison, but from that standpoint of 85, 86 to now, it don't probably trip with inside. Yeah, yeah. They have, they have more uh, psychological services now, now, now yeah. opposed to back then, mm -hmm. you know, and like you said that, you know, back then may, may, may have been the, the, the initial creation for the effects of, 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 of in some, especially older men, yeah. uh, you know, and the, the initial creation of the uh, psychological effects that they're going through as we speak right yeah. now, yeah. you know. Because, um, one of the, the keystones is uh, it, it certain conditions changes the mind's functionality, mm. and um, those who design prison, as we talked about before, they know that. Mm. And um, like I, I mentioned before, our downfall is profits for us. Mm. Prisons are um, in rural areas, and they the main source of income for a lot of the property owners that's there in a lot of the town that's there. Right. Half the town might work at that prison. Right. 
So to keep up with those numbers, you did have a system that mass incarcerate those that they target. Right. And it, it puts a situation where it's an injustice in the justice system. Right. You know? And is it is 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 it is a uh, is a is a psychological program. Yeah. Uh, and the program is a conditioning mm -hmm. uh, psychologically for especially a developing youth mm -hmm. to uh, develop you know their concept way of thinking mm -hmm. in order to uh, suit the program that they have in place so uh, in that I didn't see it too late mm -hmm. I was just for I was just fortunate enough that I just get you know something I must been doing right man because you know something kept me Something kept me because I was doing all, all, all the things that they programmed for me for, for self-destruction, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen after I got out mm -hmm. and after I came back. You, 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 you see what I'm saying? Because when I got out, you know, I mean, D.C. at that time, man, it, man, we was number one in, 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 in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, city under siege, all that. You know, you know what I'm talking about, you know, and man, the whole city, man, was up, you know, was, hey, yeah, and I survived that, and here I come back, you, you know, but my turning point was, you know, if I was developing a, in, in a certain concept, uh, starting from the control, starting pre-control, through control. After uh, open population and other institutions, you know, off that same concept, and and and, and went went back out in society with the same concept, nothing changed, you know, and with and, and coming back, but that was my turning point. My turning point. I started seeing things. I started seeing that what I developed into. You know, and I start understanding, you know, the, the the concept that I took on for my development into. I start understanding those things, you see, and seeing those things. Say, hey, hey, wait a minute. I start telling myself, man, something's wrong. Something's wrong. You just survived that. And I don't even know how you done it, but you did it, you know. Nah, you gotta change, man. You gotta change the concept, you gotta change your way of thinking. You know, in order for you to live, right? You know what I mean? So, and that was my turning point, you know. But uh, I can't say for other other men, good men, mm -hmm. you know, but I can say that a lot of uh, good men from out this town right here, D.C., man, got caught up just like that, man. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they was conditioned in order to survive a program that the B.O.P. Uh, set in place for our rehabilitation, so to speak. You know, no um, uh, uh, psychological help, you know, even though they got it in their uh, policies and everything that they provided uh, uh, psychological uh, services to us, the only way that we actually get got psychological services, it was known or uh, obvious effects. For instance, you know, you had guys, man, they they're going to sell, man, you know, and they you know, act outside their normal self. And, uh, because anytime a man takes some feces, mm -hmm. you know, he, he would take a squat in his hand and take 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 uh and, and, and what he did squat in his hand, rub it all over his face, all over his body, because he could not uh, uh, psychologically uh, cope with the, uh, you know, with his situation, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, them obvious psychological effects that the program that they had in place for our so-called rehabilitation, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they had called bringing the, the, the psychs then, you know, but they always had in the policy, man, that if you feel that you need to talk to a psychologist, you know, fill in a cop out, and send it to the psychological services and we'll call you over there. You know, something like that. What guy, man, I'm not going over there. <laughs> you know, I mean, normally, normally. Because everybody think they sane. <laughs> well, I'm going over there for anything wrong with me. 
You, you, you see what I'm saying? And, and they wasn't promoting it. They weren't promoting. They, they, they had a policy that if you want to see a, see a psychologist or a psych, you got to fill out a cop out and send it there. Then they then they send it back to you and they, with a date. Uh, and they'll call you or put you on a call out sheet to call. Come over there and talk to them. You know, didn't 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 nobody did do that because everybody thought they were sane anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So, you know. So, but when I start seeing these things for me. I say, man, something wrong with this picture, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's when I start changing. You know, I start changing to, to, from the way I used to think. I start changing, you know, my behavior. Mm -hmm. You know, you, because to me, if I change my way of thinking, my, my behavior gonna follow. Yeah. You know, and um, and that's when I start changing. But I had to, I had to see it for for myself. That's why I said that. I mentioned earlier, you, you know, I, I, I started getting back. I started coming back to myself, you know, because I was out there. I was out there, man, and, and, and I was fortunate enough to, to, let a, 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 to let the amount of information in, allow enough information in for me to eat off of and understand that I had to take a look at myself, you know. If I didn't do that, I'd probably be a statistic. That's like a lot, you know, a lot of my friends, you know, because a lot of my friends were statistics. So when you, what was the last transition out, like back into society? Your last bed and back into society, what was that like? It wasn't. It wasn't a transition. Um, it was, it was, it was, nothing changed, mm -hmm. you know, um, I, I can say this, that, you know, getting psychological help wasn't even in the picture, mm -hmm. you know, I got right back into the scheme of things in, in, in the way what, that brought me into prison in the first place. You know what I mean? You know, you, you, you got rackets going on, you know, inside and out. Uh, you living by those rackets. You living by the principles of those rackets, whatever going on. And, and, and when, when, when I come home, uh, got right because, because that, that's what my understanding was based on. Mm -hmm. and, you know, my understanding was based on that and nothing different from that. Mm -hmm. you, you know, because that's what I wanted to do. You know, and not only that, I enjoyed it. Uh, so it wasn't no transition, you know. The transition began after I stopped, after I came back in. Oh, I see. You, you see what I'm saying? That's when I started thinking, say, oh man, something got to be wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but, but the, the, the good thing about it though, you know, uh, I never put it on someone else. I never put it on another object. I always, I put it on me. And that's when that's when I started realizing, you know, my transition was taking place to say, man, something wrong with you, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? For you even to start thinking like that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Especially, you know, you know, you know better than blah blah blah. Then I start receiving the information about me, you know, and that's when my transition stuff kicked oh. in, you know. But that was on the way back in, not coming out. <laughs> Exactly. See what I'm saying? It was reversed. You know, that was my transition. Um, uh, and, 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 and it was hard, even when I came back in, it was hard for me to, uh, you know, the, the, I can't, it, it, because I came back into the same situation. So I couldn't let go of my, my previous way of thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in my previous methods of uh, survival, mm -hmm. because I'm still in the same box, you know, in the same elements that still exist that makes up that, that condition for, for a person to deal with that condition the, the way it is. And, um, but, but, but still, uh, it didn't take away the, the, the awareness and the consciousness that I started began to develop and seeing things a different way. You know, so. so. 
Tell me about some of the classes you taught and some of the skills you learned. Oh, uh, the last time around? <laughs> through that process. You know, I, in Lewis and MC, um, one of, one, one, of, one of the skills, man, that I actually, I actually mastered it in prison, um, uh, HVAC, for mm -hmm. instance, right? You know, uh, when I came out of control in Lewisburg, I was able, because I was a, you know, I was, I was actually educational and in, in, inclined, even, even in control, you know, I was taking call, I was always going to college, always going to college. So, when I got to Lewisburg, they, they you know, I signed up for the, Vocation HVAC, you know, I was in like in 77, 1977, something like that. And they had a uh, vocation down there that was dental, dental technology that was, you know, that was um, uh, constructing and designing false teeth. And HVAC was the other, you know, so I took that up. I took that up, you know, and, and actually, you know, even though I was running around the place, man, you know, you know, uh, you know, fitting right in and and, 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 and and using my survival skills, I was actually going to school. Cause dudes, dudes, you say, man, uh, man, one thing about that, he he gonna go, to, he'll he'll mess up, but he, he still go to school. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and when I took that craft up, you know, I, I tried to master, you know. Everything that I indulge in, you know, I try to master. I try to do, you know, I try to master it, you know, because there is there's no there's no sense in doing it if you don't try to do try right. to do it right, you know. And um, that was, and HVAC was one of the ones I liked it, mm -hmm. you know. And over the years, I developed it, going to school about it, and blah blah blah. When I got my training in it, you know, so you know, uh, uh, just recently, man, I was teaching it, you know. Mm -hmm. up, up, uh, FCI, yeah, when I started teaching it, you know, as a student aide, um, you know, and that was one of them, you know, and there's many that, that I got into, a, I got an electrician, electrical work, uh, and, and, and that was my pastime, you know, and my pastime was going to school or educating myself, you, you know, in some form or fashion because those, those subjects are there. Those vocation, you know, even though I can't speak, you know, don't, don't get me wrong now, you know. Uh, uh, the same way the BOP got a lot of bad things about it, you got some good things about it too. Not as much that you can possibly want, mm -hmm. but it's there, and then you can take advantage of it anytime you chose, you know. And I was just one of the worst ones that took advantage of, man, you know, the education process because you know, through that, through that way, through that, that, uh, you know, through that path, man, I wouldn't have made it, mm -hmm. you know, good or bad, I wouldn't have made it, and that's one of, that's one of, that's one of the, one of the two things, man, that I mastered was the HVAC, you know, I had time to study it, I had time to work it, I had to, you know, I had time to, you know, do what I wanted to do with it, you know, and I had time to teach it, you know, and that's what I done, you know, so, um, you know, so that's the, one some of the good things that come out of it, and that's some of the good things that uh, a lot of good men, you know, don't take advantage of. You know, because you know I don't care how which way or how way, you know, or whatever they put out there. Uh, I think you know uh, uh, a man can he have a chance. You know, not depend on somebody to save them, but depend on themselves to save themselves, you know, just by knowing, you know, and, and fortunately, you know, I was able to save myself, you know, through that education process because, you know, it, it, it taught me and it showed me and made me understand to know the difference, you know, to know the difference because a lot of, like I say, and I'm saying it a thousand and one times, you know, a lot of good men, you know, they perished because they didn't know the difference. 